Hi darlings and blue jays, welcome to my channel Me and Places, I am Paulina and today I am in Vilnius. I am first time here in the country and in the city. I have no idea about anything besides that Lithuanian language is so pretty, like really beautiful. It's like cats talking basically, so I'm really excited to be here. So let's discover Vilnius. This palace looks like a castle in Bratislava a little bit. Also check out this tower. So cool. Like a rocket. It's huge, but the entrance is 10 euros with a tour, but still, like, come on. I'm a budget traveler, so this is not my attraction. Look at the street, it's so cute. The houses are pretty low. They all have like a red rooftops and it's quite hilly like there's a lot of hills in the town and there is a church on the hill oh my god check that out there's like a hill right in the center of Vilnius and there is some kind of tower on top yeah I knew where to go hiking hills right in the center of the town that's my kind of travel I think last time I saw like attractions on the hills was in Estergom, Estergom, something like that, the town on the Danube river in Hungary and I was so pleased, there were like multiple attractions, they were not far from city center and they were all on the hills and here it comes again, I'm so in love with this. you can walk by foot or by funicular and there's a museum of course we're gonna walk right there are cobblestones and then there's a leather you can see more and more buildings and roofs as you walk up I got up so you can actually come here for free I think there is a separate museum inside the tower that requires a ticket but it's free to wander around the area and check the views So you can see more like a modern buildings from that side and the old town from another first time in the town I did not have time to google where to go and what to see I love to go up because from up you can actually see which places look interesting for you I just saw this church from here it's red and like a brick church like the tower behind me and it's huge and it looks so awesome I think I'm going there next see it's right there There is an installation here. These are all done by different people. This is John Singhi, who is from Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo. And these are made by Lithuanian immigrants. These are by Sheila Salim from Iraq. Oh, look there. There is um, some kind of street art. I'm a big fan of street art. Let's go check it out. 
This is actually pretty cool, look at that. I am walking the bridge towards a city, inside a city. Hey, remember Christiania in Copenhagen? So crossing the river here in Vilnos, you're gonna come to Zupis. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, it's a city inside a city, which is kind of like Christiania in Copenhagen. And the name literally means beyond the river because we are beyond the river. And it has been famous within artists. I'm so happy I found this place. This artist, we also have his works in uh, our district in Pasela, street art district. And the hedgehog, we have it as well. So cute. I love this area, it's super creative and quirky cafes everywhere and galleries and a metal coat. This bronze sculpture pictures an overcoat of Antanas Vibulskis. He was a volunteer in Vilna's defense unit when the Red Army approached and he gave his coat to another soldier who was called. It's written here on the wall. I like this area actually quite more than the old town. Like the, the church and the area around it, it's more creative and fun. I'm just walking aimlessly in this area because I really like it and the houses become less tidy and more old and worn and it's really authentic so guys I was just walking that street and um, I saw a beautiful yellow tree with some red bushes so I went there and now I am on a cemetery unexpectedly but it's kind of cozy now in autumn it's all in yellow leaves and there are some very beautiful sorrowful statues here or it's someone's creepy backyard Darlings, this makes me think of other cemeteries I have been to while traveling and I'm wondering what is the most memorable cemetery for you. For me I think one is for sure in Zagreb, it's so beautiful and even though I didn't know anyone who is buried there, it kind of made me think of those people whom I loved and who passed away and uh, it was very meditative and very you know, beautiful place that actually makes you think of the dead ones you loved. And I think the second one was in Madeira, uh, near the Nans village, or in the Nans village. Just because the place is so stunning, I remember thinking like, whoa, I would not object to be being buried here after I die. It's just such a beautiful place overlooking mountains. So share in the comments some of most memorable places you have been to, I mean cemeteries specifically. Fuck yourself expression. No, make love to yourself expression. <laughs> that is so cute. And one more. Dick, official partner. <laughs> Just being weird. I crossed the river again and I found one more hill with some weird things on top. Let's check that out.
is there other people out there who want to sing the song Bye Bye Little Sebastian every time they hear the word Bastion? Because I am those people. Bye Bye Little Sebastian. I really like the streets here behind the Bastion. Look at that. It looks creepy awesome. I think I'm gonna make a round here and go back to the old town, to the place where I'm staying. I'm getting hungry and also I slept for four hours, two days in a row. And tomorrow I need to study. And there is one place outside Vilnius which I really want to see. So I really hope to sleep enough to wake up early and to have enough time to go there and study. The sunset light really feeds these old streets. And found a moomin. It's like being back in Finland. That's so cute. By the way, this gate here seems to be some kind of attraction because there is information about it. The other side of the same gate. It's quite pretty from here. Chapel of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Gates of Dome. And the birds like it. And I'm here at Dome, so I'm rocking it. Hey, check out this egg. It has a story. It was waiting for a statue. And when the time for statue itself came, people became so fond of the egg that they just moved it elsewhere. Here. I found a market. Let's check it out if it's still open. Nah, it's all closed. Well, let's go back then. I'm actually getting hungry. Uh, this is closed, but here you can still smell the food, <laughs> which makes me hungry, so I'm gonna find some place to eat. I just googled places near to where I am, and I found one place where you can eat cheap, uh, something like chipuri, which is awesome. And the menu I found on Google is very reasonably priced, so let's try to find that place. And good morning, darlings. So I'm gonna see some new places today. I just bought two bus tickets to Trakai and back. And I'm gonna spend a few hours there and at 3 o'clock I should be back already to Vilnius to study. We will see how that goes. It's cheaper to buy tickets in a ticket machine, not from the bus driver. So that's what I did and they costed uh, like under 5 euros, both of them together. So not much. And I'm here in Prakai. There is a bridge, let's cross it. You can already see the castle from here. It is so beautiful. Especially standing on a lake, it kind of brings like a special kind of atmosphere to this place. So I got the ticket, it's 8 euros, but with student card it's 4. And I'm in the courtyard. It's pretty huge actually. And this, these walls are so well preserved. I don't know from which year this is. It kind of reminds me the, about the Turaida castle. It's also red and well preserved, but not as well as this one. Check out the walls and the towers. Maybe it has been restored. I don't know. So there are three exhibitions on this wall and two more upstairs in that tower. I'll go up first. I'm imagining I'm hiking mountains always as I go up. The Trakai castle was built around 1360s. It was a defensive structure that survived multiple attacks. In 15th century, the castle entered the peaceful era. It was redecorated in Renaissance style and it was serving as a residence for royals. 
This was a brief period, though, followed by a grim time when the castle turned into a prison. In 17th century, after war with the Russian Tsardom, the castle got ruined and was not taken care of. It standed as ruins for centuries. Until the beginning of 20th century, which is not so long time ago, the castle was slowly but surely reconstructed. Now this tapestry looks very old, but when you check the date, it has actually been done in 1970s. So not that long ago. 1977. Looks much older. And there were ruins. So it was reconstructed, that's why it looks like new. Okay, going back to the lower floor, I'm gonna check some exhibitions over there. Like the pipes, I think I just never thought they can look like that. <laughs> really cool. Okay, let's have a walk around. So I saw the castle from all the sides that I could. I still have two and a half hours until my bus, so apparently you don't need that much time for Trakai Castle. So I guess I'm just gonna walk around and see if there is any other attractions, and if there is not, just try to find some kind of cafe to have a coffee. From time to time it's raining, but I have this thing and I have this yellow thing on my backpack, which is very handy. This jacket you can fit in your pocket, like it's so small. And the one for the backpack you can fit even into a smaller pocket. That is super handy. I found a cafe with a chocolate museum. It's like, of course, I'm going. The museum part didn't seem that interesting from inside, and it did not fit my budget plan since the ticket costs 5 euros. I still stayed for a coffee and a very tasty pistachio cake, and this was my last place to visit in Trakai. Good morning, darlings! It's a new day, and I arrived to Kaunas. I just got out of the train, and there is already street art here. Check this out. It's behind me. It's so cool. If you know me, you know I'm a street art fan, so this tells me that I will probably see more in the town itself. I'm actually having a short layover here, a few hours. I'm gonna first go to the bus station because that's where I need to be in the evening. Okay, so I left my luggage at the bus station. It's behind the bus station and it costs 2 euros 50 cents for a day. Unfortunately, it closes one hour before my bus leaves. But that just means I'll come earlier to pick up the first attraction I discovered. Look at this. I checked the door and it's locked so I cannot see it from inside. But there is an alley here, so let's walk the alley. My friend told me that they have long alleys here in Kaunas and she was right. This is a never-ending alley. <laughs> she was so right. <laughs> Guys, I finally found street art. Hell yeah. Actually, I found a whole court full of street art. I love this. It's very small though. I wish it was bigger. That was 
cool. I really like the mirror house. I took time playing with the photos there. Hi. I think I'll have just enough time to walk really fast to the old town to see the castle and then I'll have to go back. Hey, more street art. Check this out. And the shoes coming from up there. I must say most of houses here in Kaunas, I mean they sure were pretty years ago but they are so ruined and uh, not like uh, not like in a charming way but more in like let's all make a fund and renovate it kind of way so i'm not showing you that much of the city just because i'm usually showing things i like or i'm impressed with and i didn't find that much of them yet architecturally i did like the the street art part of course and i'm still going to the old town i mean to to the castle and i found the castle right here by the way behind this castle it's kind of a small castle it's more like just a tower <laughs> there is a really cool street art let's go see that I also think that the street which I need to take to go back to the bus station and maybe eat somewhere on the way because I really want to leave some time for that because I will have a night bus so it would be nice to eat something normal before that starts it's really cool it's probably the coolest so far my days in Lithuania ended in this cozy restaurant with an authentic atmosphere and very traditional food Thank you guys and girls so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!